I'm really sad because my fairy lights broke so that's just great. <laughs> Hi it's Charlotte, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I've got a jeans testing video for you. I haven't really done very specific fashion videos like this before but I do want to start doing them because I just think they're so much more useful and they're the kind of videos that I search for. So today I'm going to be doing the five most flattering straight leg jeans from ASOS as I found some good ones. Personally I've been all about mom jeans and straight leg jeans in fact, I've got a mom jeans video that will either be up before this one or after. And yeah, I've just been hunting for like the perfect ones and want to share them with you. So yes, if you'd like some straight leg jean inspiration today, then please carry on watching. Those ones kind of work, but they kind of need new batteries as well. So you're going to have to have a plain background today. I apologise. <laughs> so for today, I've got five pairs of super flattering straight leg jeans and I'm going to show them all to you, obviously. I've taken some little try on clips in a mirror. I took them in a mirror because I just thought it was the best way of showing you. And yeah, I am kind of going to do it from worst to best or like I'm going to save my favourite ones last. Um, I'm just doing it that way because when I was trying them on, I couldn't help but think which ones were my favourites. Um, I love all of them but I definitely think I have some favourites out of them. So yeah, I'm just gonna get on with that. Okay, in fifth spot, I've got these pair of River Island straight leg jeans. I got these in a size eight, which is like my normal size. So just so you know, I bought all of these pairs of jeans in my true size. So I will let you know what the sizing is like. For the River Island ones, I found these true to size. If I had sized down, they definitely would have been too tight. And yeah, I just thought these were a perfect length. They were perfect around the waist. The only thing I would say is they're possibly a little bit, a tiny, tiny bit more cropped than I would like. And I do prefer the colours of some of the other jeans a bit more. These are, what's the word? These ones are probably a little bit more stiff than some of the other pairs of jeans. These are probably like not the comfiest, if that makes sense. But they still look really super nice and really flattering. I'm just going to find out how much these ones were. So these ones were originally £40, but I got them for £28 in the sale. Um, and yeah, so £40, I think that is like an average price for jeans, in my opinion. Especially if it's a good pair of jeans, then it is going to be worth it. Yeah, I definitely preferred the colours of some of the other jeans. I think I'm not really the hugest dark wash person. So they came a little bit darker than I thought they would. They've got a brown patch on the back, and this is what the backs look like. And yeah, I mean, it's hard to, there's only so much I can say about each pair of jeans, but that is it essentially. I thought the length was good. It cinched in perfectly at the waist. It's just got one button and then you zip it up. And yeah, apart from that, like I said, they're a tiny bit more cropped than some of the other pairs and they're probably the stiffest pair to wear, but they do look really nice and sometimes it's worth the sacrifice. In fourth place, we have got these jeans from Selected Femme, which say 100% organic cotton denim. And these were the most expensive ones that I bought. So these were £70. Like, yeah. Most of the other ones were quite a lot cheaper, but these ones were the most expensive. I got a 26 inch waist and a 32 length. They didn't have my waist size, so I'm a 25, so I had to order up. And then they didn't seem to do a shorter length. Like, I don't know if that was just, yeah, they just do a 32 length. These jeans, the shape of them is just so nice. I must admit they are super long on me. They're a 32 length, I would usually have a 30. So they are a bit long on me. That is the reason they're in fourth place. However, if I'd gotten my normal waist size, I know that these would have fit perfectly around the waist. They were just a tiny, tiny bit too big because I'm a 25 inch, not a 26, but I got the size up because I did want to see what the jeans were like. This colour is just like my perfect blue denim jeans. Like, I just can't tell you, it's just my favourite colour of jean. These pair have got multiple buttons, so there's no zip, it's just a button closure. There's then also a brown patch on these ones, and those are the back. These ones are a lot comfier than the River Island ones. They're almost verging on, they are straight leg, but they're almost kind of like semi straight leg almost flare but then maybe it's just because of the length but then because of the length it does sort of give like a straight leg slash almost flare kind of look if that makes sense i still think they look really nice they look so so flattering all i needed was a shorter length and i would have loved these so i'm really sad 
that they don't do a shorter length as I think I would have really liked these but I did still want to mention them because maybe if you're taller than me so I'm five foot four so you might prefer these out of all of these jeans if you maybe are a bit taller but I just think the quality of these is so nice I do kind of understand the price point because out of all of the jeans they probably are the best quality but like I said they're not completely straight leg jeans in my opinion and the length is just too long for me Right, in third place, we have possibly the best deal you're gonna get in this video, which is a pair of collusion jeans, which is like, I don't know what it's, I mean, it's a brand that's quite new, I wanna say on ASOS. I've bought quite a few items from Collusion um, this year because they do quite nice clothing. They do a lot of like modern, trendy things, in my opinion. Um, but I saw these jeans and I thought they looked really nice. Very similar to the previous ones, the Selected Femme. They are very like relaxed fit, they're not too stiff. They do give you that like straight leg but still quite oversized feel. I've got this in a 26 inch waist and 30 length. I am usually a 25 inch waist, however, I think the 25 was out of stock, but the 26 actually fit quite well. I think the 25 would have fit me maybe a little bit better, but the 26 still fit me pretty well. So yet again, I thought the length, the waist size was perfect. It's got no sort of like details on the back, it's all pretty plain, so if you don't like having a big patch design, and then it's got your classic button and zip. Although I'm pretty sure, I don't know if I'm imagining this, I think it's on the opposite side, maybe I'm just imagining that. But these were £20, which I think is just, like you're almost reaching Primark kind of prices there. Um, so for the price mark, I mean these probably should win this whole video for the price mark um, because honestly I thought the fit was absolutely perfect. I love this colour, maybe slightly darker than the Selected Femme one so not my perfect perfect colour and probably one of the loosest straight leg jeans out of all of these. They are definitely a very very relaxed fit but at the same time still cinching in at your waist so they're still really flattering. But yeah I also really like these ones as well so yeah. We then have in second place a pair of ASOS jeans. These, these I also got in a 26 inch waist and length 30. Like I said, I can be between size six and eight. So a 26 inch waist sometimes is fine for me. And with these, it is fine. Like it cinches perfectly around the waist. And again, I thought the length of these were perfect. These were 32 pounds. So again, quite average. I think that's quite good. Um, the only thing I'll say about these is, I don't know how to describe it, but they are like the River Island ones, a little bit more cropped I'd say, than the other pairs, definitely, but they also have a little bit more shape at the bottom of the leg, like they almost, at the bottom of the leg, kind of, because of where it's folded, it kind of sticks out a bit, which, when I first put them on, I almost thought, are the ends flared a bit? Like, are they kind of semi flared at the ends, which they're not. It's just because of where the jeans are folded, so I don't know if you could iron that a bit more flat so that it doesn't do that at the ends. I mean, it gives quite a nice little shape at the bottom, but then again, if you want a pair of straight leg jeans, that could be quite annoying. Yeah, they are a little bit more cropped, I'd say, like the River Island ones, which I wouldn't take as a bad thing because it's obviously it's a 30 length, it is supposed to be like that, and I guess it just depends what you're after. Um, I definitely was looking for more of a full length straight leg jean but at the same time I did think the fit of these were really nice and with these ones and the River Island ones I'm, I'm hoping that they would do longer lengths so I mean if you did want a longer jean you could probably just size up but yeah I did think the colour of these again as well were cute there are nothing on the back they're just completely plain I must admit I do prefer it when the back is kind of plain and again it's just a button and a zip detail and on these ones it has quite, like these little rose gold little details as well but yeah I really really like these definitely those ones and the ones I'm just about to mention I am so considering keeping because these top two I just thought were absolutely perfect in my first place for straight leg jeans I have got this pair of jeans from only and this brand I feel like not a lot of people talk about but I actually have ordered from Only on ASOS quite a lot over the years. They do really nice pieces of clothing, it's not like super expensive. So these were £30, quite an average price like I said. And I got these in a 25 inch waist and a 32 length. These are them, I'm very aware that when I hold these up they probably 
all look the same, but hopefully the charm clips will show you a bit better. Literally my perfect shade of blue for jeans, like I can't tell you, this is just my favorite kind of denim blue to wear. The length and the waist was absolutely perfect. Like I said, a 25 and six inch waist. I mean, it depends on the pair of jeans, but I found for all of these jeans, both sort of work for me as long as the jeans aren't like a super stiff material but luckily for me quite a lot of these are like give a little bit of stretch which I do really like because I feel like it's a bit more comfortable but yeah these just have a zip and a little button this cute little gold button which I think is really nice and all the details are like a yellow gold as well which I'm not gonna lie makes me a little bit happy because a lot of jeans tend to have like rose gold or like pink gold if you know what I mean like coppery and I just don't like that but these ones it's like yellow gold which I just think looks so much nicer and then on the back it has a little brown patch and they just look like that yeah I mean I don't know what else there is to say about these I literally just think they're the perfect length which is weird because they're a 32 length jean which usually would be too long for me in this case I feel like they are the perfect length around the waist fits perfectly and the colour the details I just think is amazing and especially because they're 30 pounds they're not even one of the most expensive pairs in this haul so yeah I really like those and I might have to compare them to some jeans that I have in my wardrobe to see if I can <laughs> consider keeping them because I don't think I have any jeans like this so that is the end of my top five most flattering straight leg jeans from ASOS I decided to do from ASOS because ASOS do so many brands. I mean, I'm pretty sure the only brand they don't do is literally Zara. Yeah, I just thought it'd be really interesting to order loads of jeans. So I did actually order about 15 pairs and picked out the five best ones. I mean, I could have done a whole haul showing all of them and I did consider it. However, there were just so many pairs that were completely untrue to size or bad material, bad quality. And I just sort of thought, I'm so used to doing hauls on my channel all the time but I never sort of think to why don't I just pick out the good stuff and show that because it might just be a bit more interesting. Um, so let me know if you did enjoy this or you just prefer me doing hauls of everything that I buy. Yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're new to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.